So if I gave you something like this, let's say negative 2x equals 20. And I said to solve this equation for x. Would you guys know how to do that? Plus 2 on both sides. That's a good, the right idea, but not quite exactly. So since right here what we've got, that would be true in a different case. But what we've got is negative 2x. So that's negative 2 times x. And so what we want to do here to get x by itself, since this is actually multiplication, we have negative 2x. We want to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we want to divide by 2 on both sides here. Because whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other. And so really, we're dividing by negative 2. So we want to divide by negative 2 here. So negative 2 divided by negative 2 just cancels out, leaving us with x here. And so now we just have to do 20 divided by negative 2, which gives us negative 10. So yes, the answer is negative 10. Yep, good job. The answer is negative 10. And yes, divide, divide 20 over 2. Exactly. Yes, yes, that's right. That's correct. Yep. So if it was like, for example, if it was when you said add 2 to both sides, if it was like this, if we had x minus, if we had something like this, x minus 2 equals 20. If we look at the sign in front of the 2, since it's x minus 2, we want to get the x by itself, so we do the opposite of subtraction, which is addition. So whatever you do to one side, you do to the other, so that would end up with x equals 22. So, okay, so now we'll look at inequalities, but I just wanted to make sure we at least had had a basic understanding of, of how to do that, because that's really, that's one of the most, if the, I had to pick one skill for the GED test, knowing how to do that is the probably the most important one. And so you could have like multi-step equations, which like you could have something like this, like for example, we'll do one more, then, then I promise we're doing inequalities. Like you might have something like this, like 2x plus 20, and I'm making this up off the top of my head, but equals 40. So something like this. Um, and so you would have to know how to solve this for x. And so really the way that you would do it is you want to first subtract this 20. So when you're solving an equation here, you do the addition and the subtraction first. And so some people think of like your, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, order of operations rules. And usually you don't, you want to do a division and multiplication first, but just trust me on this. For these solving equations questions, you have to do the subtraction first because you need to get the 2x by itself on the left-hand side. And so it's like you've got 2x plus 20, so you've got to undo this plus 20 first. And so the way that you undo plus 20 is you do minus 20. Whatever you do to one side, you also do to the other. So we're left then with 2x equals 20. And so then we've got 2x equals 20, and so we divide by 2 now since it's 2x, and we basically just did the same question here, but with a negative number, and the answer would just be equals 10. So for a multi-step equation, when you're solving for a variable, you just do your addition and subtraction first, and then that's how you would do that. So now we'll go forward with our inequalities. All right, so basically the thing with inequalities is that whenever you multiply or divide both sides with a negative number, you have to reverse that inequality. Okay, so let's say, for example, so first let's make sure we understand what these signs mean. So this is greater than sign. So this sign means greater than. Okay, so this sign means greater than. This sign means less than. So let me just say less than. I took my math test six months ago, studied for six months. I didn't know about your videos, but I used them for science and passed a week ago. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you for being here, and you're, you're more than welcome. I hope that we're, I'm able to help you with the RLA as well. Um, I want to hope hopefully see you pass the RLA soon, too. It uh, looks, like looks like you got the math done, too. Congratulations. You're on the road then. Uh, we're actually going to be looking at some RLA stuff fairly shortly here. but um, So basically, so this is greater than, this is less than this is greater than or equal to. So this little line down here just means greater than or equal to. And so then the last sign that we have to see here is this is less than or equal to. So I'm not going to write the labels out for that, but hopefully we're, we're on the same page here. So we've got, we've got greater than, we've got less than, and then we've got our greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. So basically 
The idea here is that whenever you've got a negative number that you're dividing or multiplying by, you have to reverse your inequality. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say that we have like negative 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. So this is our example here. So you have negative 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. And so really, this can be psychologically, like this can be kind of intimidating, but what I want you to do is when you see this greater than or equal to sign, just think about it just like you would an equal sign, all right? So really, if you look at this problem, your negative 2x minus 1 equals 1, that's the same exact type of problem we were, we were doing. It's just a solving equation question, all right? There is a little bit of a difference, but at first you just treat it the same way. So this greater than or equal to sign, don't be intimidated by it. Just treat it like an equals to sign. And so if this was an equal to sign, and we needed to solve for x here, so what we would do is we try to get x by itself. So we would add 1 to both sides, sides of our equation here, which we would then rewrite this as 2x is greater than or equal to 2. So now what we're going to do is we want to get this x by itself. So we have negative. So let's say, for example, so first let's make sure we understand what these signs mean. So this is greater than sign. So this sign means greater than. Okay. So this sign means greater than. This sign means less than. So let me just say less than. I took my math test six months ago, studied for six months. I didn't know about your videos, but I used them for science and passed a week ago. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you for being here, and you're, you're more than welcome. I hope that we're, I'm able to help you with the RLA as well. Um, I want to hope hopefully see you pass the RLA soon, too. It uh, looks, like looks like you got the math done, too. Congratulations. You're on the road then. Uh, we're actually going to be looking at some RLA stuff fairly shortly here. but um, So basically, so this is greater than, this is less than this is greater than or equal to. So this little line down here just means greater than or equal to. And so then the last sign that we have to see here is this is less than or equal to. So I'm not going to write the labels out for that, but hopefully we're, we're on the same page here. So we've got, we've got greater than, we've got less than, and then we've got our greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. So basically the idea here is that whenever you've got a negative number that you're dividing or multiplying by, you have to reverse your inequality. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say that we have like negative 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. So this is our example here. So you have negative 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. And so really, this can be psychologically, like this can be kind of intimidating, but what I want you to do is when you see this greater than or equal to sign, just think about it just like you would an equal sign, all right? So really, if you look at this problem, your negative 2x minus 1 equals 1, that's the same exact type of problem we were, we were doing. It's just a solving equation question, all right? There is a little bit of a difference, but at first you just treat it the same way. So this greater than or equal to sign, don't be intimidated by it. Just treat it like an equals to sign. And so if this was an equal to sign and we needed to solve for x here, so what we would do is we try to get x by itself. So we would add 1 to both sides, sides of our equation here, which we would then rewrite this as 2x is greater than or equal to 2. So now what we're going to do is we want to get this x by itself. So we have negative 2x is greater than or equal to 2. So we divide by negative 2x on both sides of our equation here, right? I didn't mean to cross that 2 out. What am I thinking? So we divide by negative 2 on both sides of our equation. So the negative 2s are going to cancel out here. Over here, we divide by negative 2. So we've got x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So is that the right answer? Does anybody know? Did, did we solve the question? Are we down to the right answer or not? Anybody have any idea? Is, is x is greater than or equal to negative 1 the right answer or not? And so here's, this is the kicker here. This is the thing about inequalities that's tricky. 
So remember, just a few minutes ago, I said that in inequality problems, when you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you have to reverse your inequality. So we divided both sides by negative 2. So what we have to do here is we've got to reverse our inequality. So the answer is x is less than or equal to negative 1.